For the most part, when it comes to equipment, I'm the type of person who likes to save up and purchase the higher end product. And as far as digital equipment, I think that's often the right call. But what about tools? Which is to say, non-digital gadgets whose primary function is to just grab and grip and hold and be. Well, that's what today's video is about. For the past month or so, I have been using these two C-stands for work. The newer 10-foot, 3-meter C-stand, which costs around $160 US, $190 Canadian, as well as the 40-inch Matthews Black C-stand, which goes for around $200 USD on BNH Photo, and around $400 on Vistec? Uh, I can't wait for the border to open up again. I mean, f for this sort of thing, not for the other thing. Newer is becoming very well known for making cheap alternatives. I in fact have the newer wall mount system, made a whole other video about that, you can, I'll link it there. But let's talk about this product. Right off the bat, newer C-Stand has a detachable base, great for transportation. It then has two levels of extension, and it comes with a gobo, Hollywood head and arm. At the end of each side of the arm, it's got a baby pin head, on each side, a quarter inch thread on one and three eighth inch thread on the other side for mounting cameras and equipment. Honestly, the newer C-Stand is great. It feels rugged and it's good quality. It was a little bit oily feeling when I first got it. Like it didn't actually leave any oil on my hands, but I did have the constant feeling that I had to be rinsing them to detail. But speaking about details, this sound. It's just such a non-pleasing sound and it feels low quality. But again, details. Those two things, that's pretty much it. Aside from that, the newer C-Stand is really a very good alternative. Speaking of alternatives, let's talk about the Matthews C-Stand. My Matthews C-Stand does not have a removable base, although there are models that do typically at a higher price point. It again has two levels of extension and comes with their Hollywood head and arm. The Matthews also comes with an extra gobo, which is great, but it does not have the thread or baby pin on the end of the arm. And I accidentally already dented the tip of my Matthews arm because I wasn't paying attention. Of course, this extra gobo does add a lot of versatility, but more equipment is required. That additional gobo is also in a fixed position. Like, you can't unlock it, it's just locked in there. Which, in my opinion, is a bit of a drawback. Sort of an unnecessary drawback, but that's the way the product comes. Things that I like about the Matthews C-Stand... Very silly thing, really, but I really like the knobs. They just feel super nice in the hand. It's a really insignificant thing to appreciate, I, I guess. Sometimes I'll just be walking around the office or on a phone call or something and I'll just be twisting the knobs around because I just like how nicely they fit into your hand. Whereas that's not the case with the newer ones. They actually, they're sort of annoying to use details, but details count. The Matthews is also a little bit heavier overall. Not by much, but it does give the impression of being a sturdier piece of equipment. Even though I don't distrust the newer stand, having both at my disposal, I will always put my more delicate, more expensive pieces of equipment on the Matthews. Lastly, let's talk about transportation. The Matthews will collapse smaller than the newer, but the newer has removable legs, which is great, as I already said. That being said, I've seen these Matthews used in by grips, and given the right case, you can actually fit four of them in a single case with the legs still on. And then when you get to a gig, you can just, you know, unfold the legs and boom, you're pretty much ready to go. Which with the newer, I guess you have to put the legs back on. Not sure how much that matters, but something to point out. That's pretty much it from my use of them so far. So which one should you get? Well. If you work mostly at home and want to purchase a piece of equipment that will work right out of the box, I would say the newer. It is a solid C-stand, gets the job done, usable right out of the box. If you're looking for a piece of equipment to be out in the field with and you will eventually be getting more gripping gear, 
possibly the Matthews. But maybe wait until the border opens up again if you're in Canada. I don't think it's worth that much more of this deck. That's it for me, everyone. If you found this video helpful, please help out the channel by giving me a big thumbs up below. And if you really like the video and want to see more content like this, then please consider subscribing. Do you guys find the price leap worth it between the newer and the Matthews? Or would you go for the cheaper product? Let me know down below, I'm curious. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.